Morning everybody, my name's Elaine and I'd just like to share with you uh, a few thoughts about Lent, which is fast approaching. Matthew 4 verse 2 says, after fasting for 40 days he became hungry. Yes. After Jesus was baptized by John in the river Jordan, as he came out of the water, he saw the Spirit of God descending on like a dove. And a voice from heaven said, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. The Spirit then led Jesus into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He answered all three temptations by putting his faith in God. And after fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. 40 was a, a number important to all Jewish people then, associated with transition and a new beginning. And having entered the wilderness filled with the Holy Spirit, he returned 40 days, 40 days later in the power of the Holy Spirit and began to preach, to teach, and to heal many people. His advice to his followers was, when you fast, don't look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show men their fasting. Your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. So, when you fast in Lent for 40 days leading up to Easter, to remember and to follow Jesus' example, we can also not only give up something when fasting, such as food, drink, or television, but we could do something extra. Maybe help others, or deepen our relationship with Jesus by reading the Bible, by praying, or sharing the good news more. If we do fast or do good works, we shouldn't boast about them. We should be doing it because we're remembering Jesus' sacrifice at the end of the 40 days, not just to earn public praise. So, dear Lord, may we use this Lenten period to see you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. This is a prayer for Lent. Our loving Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this wonderful opportunity to pray together throughout Lent. Please help us to make the world a safer place for all people from all countries, all religions, and all races. We pray that one day there really will be world peace and freedom from pandemics. We rely on God to give us courage, patience, guidance, perseverance, and above all hope. There's so much destruction and so much evidence of man's inhumanity to man, and the world is suffering so much from the COVID pandemic. Now, we pray for all those suffering from COVID in so many countries worldwide, for refugees and immigrants, homeless and hopeless, you too were homeless and a refugee. You know how it feels to be rejected. We pray for all children, orphaned, abandoned, handicapped, enslaved or abused, wherever they may be. For all who are hungry or in pain. And for those with no dignity, no freedom, and absolutely no hope. For all who are persecuted for their belief, but who still continue to put their faith in you. For wisdom as to how to prevent climate change, and even more natural than man-made disasters. Please guide our government to provide the money and the means to help all those people affected by the COVID pandemic. And may the vaccination program succeed in standing this time. It's not your will that people should suffer. So help us to be guided by, by you, to get our priorities right, to do each day what you would have us do to the best of our ability and then to leave the rest to you. Please forgive us when we fail, but remind us that each one of us, you have a plan, and help us to keep on listening to you. May your will be done in all our lives. May we all share the peace which only you can give, and may we always love and support each other. And we ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, who came to heal and to save. Now I'd like to read to you a little, a very short poem that I wrote about Lent. It's called Lent. What is meant by Lent? Is it something we borrowed and we should repay, whether by money or some other way? Well, yes, in a way it is. Not any of us know how long we will live, not even a single day. So we are all, in fact, on borrowed time. So how should we live and try to repay? Well. Lent is when we remember Jesus in the wilderness before his crucifixion. We may not suffer acute pain as he did then, but we do try to eat less and pray more. And will this actually open the door? 
Jesus' death gave us life in him that we do believe. So with perseverance in prayer and patience, let's return to him in Lent, the life he actually gave us, not just the one he'd just been meant. Thank you.